a lake that used to draw a ton of tourists, will hopefully see money flowing back to its local economy because tonight the state says they found a way to help clean up Grand Lake St. Mary's. Our Nicole Grigg joins us live with the experimental fix. Nicole? And Jack, a few years back when algae took over Grand Lakes and also killed much of the tourism. But now the state says they finally found a way that looks to be fixing the problem quicker. Such a beautiful view at Grand Lake St. Mary's. There's just a few things missing, like that healthy water color and, of course, the people. Relied heavily upon the tourism traffic. Brian Miller is taking us around the area. He says growing up, his family had a marina on the lake. It's been very detrimental to our tourism economy the last several years. Uh, with this water quality issues. In 2010, we started reporting on this dangerous algae in the lake. But now, this flowing water is fixing the problem. Here's how it works. Water's pumped out of a creek near the lake, and it's then filtered by passing through wetlands like this one. Then that cleaner water flows into the lake. And it's designed to help filter the water, help Mother Nature get a kickstart on what she was already doing, where she had already had wetlands in place. All of this is called a treatment train. And right now, readings are down for phosphorus that allows algae to grow, and it's making quite a difference. We're seeing a, a real brown starting to develop, which in a lot of your lake, healthy lakes, that's what you see is more of a brown water. In the end, this treatment plan hopefully will fix both the algae problem and the economic problem, too. It costs nearly $2 million to make that wetland and will cost another $2 million for another, but that money is already in the budget. Reporting live in the studio, Nicole Gregg, Fox 45 News.